Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. let's Ooh. go, man. Hey, baby, you know what it is today, right? What's Does that? everybody know what it is today? It's TNC's oh. anniversary, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> we here, it's your boy Switch. I'm here with your boy Jay. I'm here with your boy Jimmy, and I'm here with your boy Ant. And what's going on, fellas? Going to the politics. Ooh. That'll quiet a room up, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all not talk at one time. Right, right. <laughs> Politics quiet somebody up. So, so what? You, so, uh, I know we were talking about our favorite episode, and mine was the the last week we recorded with Pastor Carl Day, um, and he talked about how he called out Trump on uh, he did the black community, hall. yeah, in the town hall. Um, and, and that's my favorite episode this far, but this week, um, I know we mentioned on the last podcast that we didn't have a real plan. There was no real plan yet from either side. And then Trump decided to, he heard uh, the podcast. Yeah. He heard the podcast. Trump Shout out heard to the podcast and he <laughs> added us with the platinum plan. <laughs> exactly. The platinum plan. So, um, I found it interesting and what, what do you guys think of it? I mean, I mean, well, we that's assuming everybody knows what the platinum plan is, right? Yeah, I, I got that. I got that joint up right now on my computer. All right, let them know. Let them know, Nam. So, I, what I think about it right out the gate is reading through it, and it's just me personally. You know, you hear a lot about Trump is racist, Trump is this, Trump is that. Look, Trump is a lot of things. Bombastic says a lot of things he probably shouldn't say. It's um, too much. He's 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 over the top, but. There's certain things that people lob on him that I'm like, yo, there's there's reasons that you could actually have a problem with him. But the things that y'all lob at him, it's like, yo, this is not even true. Like, I can disprove this in (laughs) two seconds. Right. So when I was the thing I like about the platinum plan, just from what I've read so far, is it doesn't look like blanket handouts. It looks like, hey, we going to do something for you to empower you to do for yourself. And we gonna get out the way and let you do what you do. I like that. I don't know about other people, but I like it. Which which okay. which part um specifically did did, did you like the most? Uh oh, here comes the Jimmy. Oh, no, no, I'm I'm all right. I'm asking. I'm him. <laughs> nah, so all right, so so Yo, Adam. Yeah, it's, not, it's not that it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the things I like is when he talked about giving people jobs and expunging records. And, and inaccuracies. I, I saw record. I saw the the jobs thing. I didn't see the expungement. That's that's pretty Yo, good. Like huge, that. bro. I'm like, this is huge because you know, I, you know, I grew up in the hood. My older brother did his dirt. Right. He's in and out of jail. So I saw what the criminal justice system does to a person. Yeah. Right. My older brother went to jail. He was like 14 when he went to jail. He came out. I think he was like 17 or something like that, trying to find a job. Nope. Nobody want to hire you because you a felon. Right. It's like so pretty much what you're trying to do is you trying to get me to go back to what I'm trying to escape. Right. 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 Because so, there's no opportunities. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So I like that. I, I rock with it. Yeah. He had that's some good. other stuff on there, right? He that's had a good. few. few oh, other he's. Things. Yeah. There's a bunch of things on there. It's a bunch well, of things. On it's there. investing it's back five, into the communities. Five hundred billion, right? Five hundred yeah. billion, bro. Well, we gonna be bread. dead for real. Yeah. And the thing about it, so like I said, the thing about that five hundred billion is this is not just hey here's this money. This is here's this money to do this so you can make more money and put more money back into the economy. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Right now, now it's a uh, elections coming. So do you think this is timely? So, I it, it, there no doubt that the election plays a part. But the problem I have with making that argument is, all right, so the election is coming around, so you're going to do something that should be done. All right, well, I don't have a problem with that. Do your thing. Right. I hear that. What what, what you think about the the 500 million that he's giving, or I don't say giving, you know, you know, we all about what Jimmy's about. Also, am I? 
taxation is theft and all that stuff. I know he's going to get into that. Uh, but the 500 million, the billion, sorry. Billion, be, billion, billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To increase the capital to black communities. Like, does this mean, like, is this, is this going to be used for business or is this just to um, get, pe- get, get the community, you know, going and stuff? Yo, Jay, you look like a game show host. My bad. I was, <laughs> just kill him. Oh, the hat. You talking about the hat? The listen, hat and the way he's holding the mic. <laughs> listen, we, we, we celebrating. I, I don't got, I, I don't got my TNC happy. cup. No, he ain't, got the clown, he ain't got the clown mask on tonight. Right, yo, I can't even help it. I can't even take his, his question serious. I'm looking at this dude. He's like, so, what do you think right. about? Yo, I thought it was the purge last episode. I was right. like, what's going to be doing? <laughs> yeah. But who was that question for, Jay? Oh, anybody. Anybody, yeah. Josh, what you thought? That's about? a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot that's of money. Lot. Now, yeah. now, you know, I'm going to put on my, my Jimmy hat. Not that I'm saying that he's a clown, but, you know, where's that money going to come from? You know? Yeah. Uh, more taxes? More what? Like, I know the right is like, oh, yeah, we need less taxes, less government. But it seems like they're on the, you know, the left, the left side, you know? from somebody taxes uh, uh, i know I, from what i read um a lot of that money or a lot of those uh business opportunities are coming from government contracts so i could be wrong but what i'm guessing is that if you own a black business you're probably going to get like first dibs on a contract um oh. from what i read that that's kind of like what i understood that's how- yeah that's that's what it is it's not just like a blanket check this right. is money that was already right. allotted and he's just given the opportunity to the hood pretty much Okay. Wow. Is that is that the okay. same idea behind like when people go through like um, uh, the minority business ownership classes or like um, um, black women business owner things where when you get that status that you kind of get you know dibs on front and line available for your business ahead of certain other business. Yeah, that that, that, that's principle? something. Yeah, yeah, that's something New York does. Um, that's know, the impression I got. That's the impression yeah. I got. I don't. I don't know if, if that's the case though. Um, I'd have to look into it more. But just just from initially, just from what I read, it looked like he was gonna give contracts. A lot. A lot of that money is coming from government contracts, government jobs. Um, so that's that's just the impression that I got. I have to look into it more. Just just so be, so it'd be a registry. Right. 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 <laughs> Right, <laughs> that part. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for Biden's platinum plan. He ain't got ain't, one. He ain't got one. Ain't no gonna be one. Huh? <laughs> that dude can't remember what his plan was. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all? What y'all I shot about him down fast. I, as soon as I said Biden's plan, everybody went, nope. <laughs> Before you even finish saying Biden, everybody's like, nope. Right. <laughs> what did you guys feel about that word, the platinum plan? Platinum, right? Well, it's, <laughs> it's, got like a, it's got like yeah. a thing to it, right? Like Drake said, like my wrist already platinum, man. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Yo, what's with the Drake today, though, bro? <laughs> right? Nah, he was man. singing all them songs. <laughs> I'm saying. So what is, you think that word? You think that word is a pandering word? You think it's a rapper bar? You trying to? I don't yeah. know. It's just you know, I don't know. Trying trying to to bar. I thought it was pandering. I thought it was bars. pandering. I was, it like, was like bro, the real? platinum plan. Platinum, yeah. It don't get bigger than this. Man, the what about the Latinos? Like what we get? We get the silver plan? What we get? <laughs> <laughs> the bronze plan? <laughs> he, gonna throw, he, gonna, he gonna throw some paper towels at you. That's what he gonna do. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Nah. Uh, we get the Puerto Rico getting 13 billion though, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is right. giving yeah, that, that's true. That is true. It Yo, is they true. More, more taxation. Oh. Yeah, giving all kinds of money away, man. Look they at all that socialism. Me. Here we go. I'm looking at Biden now. What you going to do? What's your move? What did he talk about? Did he mention policing in the in the plan? Like any kind of? Did he? Because I, I in think the platinum had, plan. In yeah. the platinum plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Nah, that was his. That was his. Uh, That's another his yeah. second year. His second term uh, plan, I think. He did. Oh, there's was- a there's a part where he talks about safety and security, or safety and justice, and I think he did mention something about policing in that uh, in that area. Mm-hmm. I heard- I'm curious. So I'm curious about that safety and policing plan to look more at that. What that actually entails? Because adding more police, I don't think- <laughs> <laughs> man. I don't- I already so, feel like I already feel like martial law in New York already. So 
So this real. is what's this is what's funny to me about the whole police brutality argument. And Jimmy, you mentioned this, and I agree with you one hundred percent. We get oh, man, so I was gonna up, say he's gonna add him. We we <laughs> get so caught up in the in the racial argument that we yeah. miss the real argument. It's over policing right. in right. general. Like that's right. the real argument, but we can never mm. have that discussion. Statism. Right. Right. Mm. Facts. I think I think um but I, I think uh like that part that you guys are talking about for for the platinum plan is tied into um I think uh Trump pushed an executive order where he's increasing the spending for police. Um mm. and so I think it might be tied in with, with that that one because he did mention so he wants to do a um like a registry for bad cops, right? So so that that way, like if let's say a cop from Cali leaves because you know police brutality or something like that and then he goes to new york there'll be a registry that shows that that's a bad cop right mm. um so that's Pause. in that plan but also in that plan is um there's funding to hire more police for more police presence um and there's nothing addressing qualified immunity either i don't think no nothing 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 addressing that so i was i was disappointed with that um, yeah but um so I think I think that is tied in with with this platinum plan of having more police presence. Um, you know, I'm concerned about that because, you know, when 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 you're a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. You know what I'm saying? And and mm. you New Yorkers know what it was like uh, during Giuliani and everything. Um, and you know the whole broken window, uh, mm-hmm. thing, you know, stop and frisk and all that. So that that's what concerns me most about having like a stronger police presence because. Um, we know cops don't don't uh, deter crime. They respond to crime. Right. That's true. And I wonder, like, how they'll... Did anybody ever watch that um, little documentary piece? I don't know if it was Vice or HBO um, back when uh, Detroit uh, went bankrupt and the yeah, whole police yeah. department got, like, budget got way cut down. So they, they turned to... Police. Uh, yeah, they turned to co- uh, contracting, outsourcing yep. the funds, city funds yep. to um, the private police in different neighborhoods. And so, like... You have different things. It was like private police only that like, got legit training and vehicles and response times and and the police like, brutality went down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they went down. They actually didn't have any shootings, from what I recall. Yeah, yeah. This was in 20, 20, 2018, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, twenty eighteen. Yeah, so they had no shootings. It, yeah, so I find it kind of interesting. You know, like you look at these different models that are existing in places that are known for crime. Right. And you're seeing some different results in their approach because even their training facility, man, it was like doing jujitsu training. I and saw that, yeah. Like all types of different stuff to kind of handle different. Um, it looked things. like ninja school. It did. It really did. Yeah. So, <laughs> it did, bro. It was wild. Like they were like climbing walls and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, you got to be in shape, man. You can't be the, the sheriff county person working at City Hall, 300 pounds with a, oh. with a six with a wow. six shooter. Yo, you got a lot of adding the bullet crispy cream donuts. <laughs> you right? got a lot of you got a lot of those out there, man. It's just like, you know what? You just go on ahead. So right. Mm-hmm. Right. that's good stuff. I remember there was a I read uh, a couple months ago about a county. I don't remember where it was at, but they basically they had like a group of individuals and they would they wouldn't police so much, but they would send them out to like certain situations. Like let's say somebody wants to commit suicide. They were sending out uh, like social workers, you know what I'm saying, instead of sending police officers to everything that was nonviolent. And they noticed that there was a decrease in violence and, and crime and just overall like policing has just been better in that county. I forgot the name of it, but it was interesting stuff. Y'all ever heard of that? There's there's um there's there's a not only in, in, in Detroit, but there's other um like townships and, and cities that have like community policing. Um, I know that there's one in, in Georgia where it's like a requirement that everybody own a firearm. Um, we've seen. I'm with co- that. We, yeah. Like it's mandatory. <laughs> too. Um, and then there's communities in Mexico where the, they've actually have done their own policing where they've, they've kicked out the mayor and they've kicked out cartels like on their own, just, you know, regular farmers with like AKs, you know, like you're not coming in here. Cartels aren't coming in here, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? So I think that community policing works, you know? Um, well, has there been yeah. an updated, has there been an updated study with, um, what was it? Camden, New Jersey or whatever. They did a defund of the police in 20, 
2014 or 2015. I guess they're still waiting for more longitudinal studies, but basically the city allocated their forces or their money to like the county. And so they increased policing to the county, which then policed the city. And then it then allotted like more money to spend in other services for the city that they thought would be more beneficial for um, the needs of the community. Instead of just like having these like high paying stipend jobs for the city and insurance right. and things like that. They like subleased the police building for like a dollar and, you know, and then they're able to have more programs and things they thought would be more beneficial to actually dealing with the community than just having a whole bunch of police. So I know that's one example. I thought it was Camden, New Jersey. Um, yeah, you're right. It was Camden. Okay. And so I'm not sure like what it looks like today or now, or if it's improved at all. I just know that it's happened. And some people are just still waiting for more longitudinal studies on how it really did work or not. Wow. Yeah. I, um, and it used to be in them DVDs, man. <laughs> they were like the worst, the worst city, right? The worst yeah, part that, of it. When you said Camden, that was like, it's the same city. And I'm thinking, yeah. okay. well, not, well, it's part of Jersey, right? Uh, Camden, New Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What you was going to say, Les? I was going to say that I, I recently saw an article concerning um, Camden and the defunding of the police. And it's actually, I hear, I hear from the article, it was saying that it's it's helped out a lot and it's kind of, it's changed the, uh, it's changed the, you know, the people and everything. It's, it's it, uh, like policemen are more community based and they're coming out for other reasons other than crime. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I, I did hear about that Camden situation and, um, I'm, I, I'm, I actually, I'm curious to see the longevity of it and how, you know, what happens there. 